Eddie Hearn met with Alexander Povetkin's promoter, Raya Binsky, yesterday. And according to this particular article on World Boxing News, he may have been trying to negotiate a step-aside deal with Raya Binsky because Povetkin is obviously the mandatory for Anthony Joshua's WBA heavyweight title. And Eddie Hearn is trying to negotiate a unification with Wilder at the moment, right? Joshua Wilder unification. But purse bids for Joshua versus Povetkin are due to start soon. I think it does give the date somewhere here in this article. Maybe you guys can spot it. <laughs> if it doesn't give it here, I'm sure it gives it somewhere else. But I know that purse bids are due to start soon. So, as a way of trying to defer purse bids and put the purse bids off, Eddie Hearn might need to give Ryabinski some other incentive to step aside other than just money. And one of the things that this article talks about is Povetkin fighting for the WBA regular belt against the winner of Manuel Char versus Freza Kendo. Some of you may remember that Povetkin used to hold the WBA regular belt. This would be his second reign as WBA regular champion if indeed this scenario unfolded and he get he got to fight Char or a Kendo. He's already beaten Char. I'm sure most of you know he knocked Manuel Char out. But yeah, that would be his second reign as WBA regular champion. And WBA regular champions are kind of like a, a mandatory, really, because if you remember when Povetkin was WBA regular champion last time, Klitschko, who was the super champion with the WBA, was mandated to fight Povetkin. Same thing happened with Golovkin. When he was WBA super champion at middleweight, he was mandated to fight the regular champion who at the time was Danny Jacobs. So yeah, that could be what's going to happen here because it's going to be difficult to get Povetkin and Ryabinski to step aside, perhaps. You know, they want their shot. And in order for Hearn to get this unification with Wilder going and defer the Povetkin fight until 2019, that's what may be required. Some type of belt that Povetkin can hold in the meantime. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Will a deal be able to be worked out so that Joshua can keep hold of his belt and won't have to fight Povetkin this year? And if so, hopefully the Wilder fight happens because if the Povetkin fight gets deferred but the Wilder fight don't take place, then you have to wonder what Joshua's going to do. Who's he going to fight? Will it be Jarrell Miller if they defer the Povetkin fight and the Wilder fight don't happen. Uh, Eddie Hearn had talked in his recent IFL interview about fighting Povetkin and then fighting Wilder, you know, fighting both of them this year, which would be incredible. But you have to imagine that Joshua and Hearn prefer to put the Povetkin fight off until next year if they're intended on fighting Wilder because Povetkin is a very, very dangerous fighter. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section below. You know, Hearn posted this picture on social media, said, saying good meeting today with Ryabinski and world of boxing. So, yeah, let me know how you feel about it, people. It's happening, I'm out.